With regard to the filibuster, I believe we should go back to a position of the filibuster that existed just when I came to the United States Senate 120 years ago. So is that a yes that you are running for re-election? Look, I'm, I, I don't know where you guys come from, man. I've never been able to travel. I'm a great respecter of fate. I've never been able to plan four and a half, three and a half years ahead for certain. And if you, it, do, if you do run, will Vice President Harris be on your ticket? I would fully expect that to be the case. She's doing a great job. She's a great partner. She's a great partner. And do you believe you'll be running against former President Trump? Oh, come on. I don't even think about it. I don't have, I have no idea. I have no idea whether it'll be a Republican Party. Do you? I know you don't have to answer my question, but I mean, you know, do you? I mean, look, this is the way I view things. I become a great respecter of fate in my life. I set a goal of this, that's in front of me to get things done for the people I care most about, which are hardworking, decent American people who getting really having it stuck to them. Regarding the filibuster, at John Lewis's funeral, President Barack Obama said he believed the filibuster was a relic of the Jim Crow era. Do you agree? Yes. If not, why not abolish it if it's a relic of the Jim Crow era? Successful electoral politics is the art of the possible. Let's figure out how we can get this done and move in the direction of significantly changing the abuse of even the filibuster rule first. It's been abused from the time it came into being by an extreme way in the last 20 years. Let's deal with the abuse first. I hear you talking a lot about the past administration you decided to roll back some of those policies. Did you move too quickly to, to, roll, to roll back, back what? I'm sorry. Policies. Did you move too quickly to roll back some of the executive orders of your predecessor? First of all, all the policies were underway were not helping at all. Did not slow up the amount of immigration and as many people coming. And rolling back the policies of separating children from their from their mothers. I make no apology for that. Rolling back the policies of uh, remain in Mexico, sitting on the edge of the Rio Grande in a muddy circumstance with not enough to eat. I make no apologies for that. I make no apologies for ending programs that did not exist before Trump became president that have an incredibly negative impact on the law, international law, as well as on human dignity.